Hey folks, this is old Texas Paul, and I gotta tell you, this is some bullshit. O'Carry Lake's encouraging people to commit acts of violence because she lost her election. I want, I want you to watch this video, we'll break it down. I wish that somebody would say, you know what? Arrest me then, I don't care. We need people with courage to say, class what felony? Go ahead, go for it, arrest me, because this is a botched election and you're disenfranchising the folks in Mojave County when you allow this kind of an election in Maricopa County to stand. Yeah, folks, you heard what you heard. She wants people to go out and commit felonies over her election. So let's just break this down just a little bit. Her campaign did a postmortem. All campaigns do. It's part of what you pay for when you donate to a campaign. When the election's over, they sit there and they take a look at how each precinct came in. They know the validity of the votes. They know. Carrie Lake knows she lost. She knows she lost. And she's asking people to go out and say, okay, it's a felony but I'll do it. Well, what felonies is she asking for? She knows the Maricopa board that, that manages their election. They're not on her side. They know they did their job. Who is she asking to commit felonies? And what would those felonies be? She's asking the people outside protesting who are believing her shit to commit acts of violence. That's what she's asking for. She's asking people to commit acts of violence over a campaign that she knows she lost. Over an election she knows she lost. That's it, folks. That is what we are at in our elections with the Republican Party. Every election, they demand violence on their behalf because they cannot accept that they lost. They cannot accept that people took a look at what they had, you know, didn't have to offer because they don't offer anything but this bullshit. Go out and commit violence on my behalf. Well, fuck that noise. Fuck that noise completely. If anything happens, anything at all happens, they need to charge Carrie Lake with conspiracy because she asked for it. She told her people that she knows, she fucking knows these people are loons. She knows they're crazy as fucking bed, bed bugs. She knows it. That's why she's using these words because she knows one of those crazy sons of bitches, one of those cost patriots that has been dreaming of the revolution is going to hear this and it's just going to sing a symphony in his brain. And you know what? It's not going to be a woman. It's not going to be a, a person of color. It's not going to be anything. It's going to be an old fucking white guy like me. That would, that's what it's going to be. It's either going to be an old fucking white guy like me or his offspring that he's brain fucked. I'm telling you folks, we have a white guy problem in this country. We really do. We really fucking do. And we need to be very open about it. Clean up our own damn backyard. We need to clean up our own damn backyard. We need to clean up our churches. We need to clean up everything. We need to take obvious statements like this. Obvious calls to violence like this. And we need to cram them back down their throat. And I will explain what I mean by that. I don't mean literally go physically assault these people. I mean, we need to stand up and scream at these people in their faces. We need to legally pursue every means possible against these people. If anything happens in anybody, an officer, anybody, so much as gets a scratch, we need to sue these people into oblivion. We need to make this so fucking expensive that it never happens again. Both socially, politically, and economically. I'm telling you folks, 
it is way past time to sit and just watch this shit. They've been doing it too long and they think they can get away with it. This woman sat on national television and made those statements. She really thought she was going to get away with it. Not as long as I'm breathing. Not as long as I'm breathing. I want you, you, calling your representatives, the White House, DOJ, FBI, any fucking alphabet you can find, including your dog catcher, and point them to this video. So that if anything happens, she owns it. Carrie Lake owns it. I love you folks. This is Old Texas Paul. Have a wonderful day. Please hit that subscribe button. It means everything to us. It's free to you. It means everything to us. I love you folks. This is Old Texas Paul out. Have a wonderful day. Midas Touch is unapologetically pro-democracy. And look, we know you are too. So please make sure you check out our best-selling shirt and our best-selling gear, the unapologetically pro-democracy gear. And hey, while you're at it, make sure you check out my favorite shirt and one of our most famous designs. It wasn't rigged, you're just a loser. At store.midastouch.com. That's store.midastouch.com.